As Canada's first astronaut and an officer in the Canadian Navy, also president of the Canadian Space Agency and a member of Parliament, Dr. Mark Lenore's exceptional life of leadership and accomplishment is an inspiration to all Canadians. His achievements are very extensive and he is most commonly recognized as the first Canadian man to enter space. Born in Quebec City, Mark began his career of public service at age 16 when he attended a Royal Military College, college in St. Uh, Jean, Quebec. After earning his bachelor's degree of science uh, in engineering physics from the Royal Military College in Kingston, Ontario, uh, Mark completed a doctorate in electrical engineering at London, England's Imperial College of Science and Technology. Uh, he went on to study at the Canadian Forces Command and Staff College in Toronto. On October 5th, 1984, Mark made history when he became the first Canadian to fly in space as part of a NASA shuttle mission. He went on to fly more than two shuttle missions, logging more than 670 hours in space and earning a spot uh, in the hearts of Canadians forever. For his accomplishments, he was also made a companion of the Order of Canada. Mark went on to serve as the president of the Canadian Space Agency from 2001 to 2005, where he, where he oversaw uh, a staff of 700 and managed an annual budget of $300 million. As president, he developed the Canadian Space Strategy, which defines the mandate uh, and long-term goals for the Canadian Space Program. We are glad to be joined here by Dr. Mark Reno himself. He is here to talk to us about what it means for him uh, what this means for him and for the future of Canadian Space Expeditions. Hello Mark, we're glad for you to talk to us today. It's great to be here. Mark, one key question that I'm sure everybody wants to know is uh, what this expedition means not only for you, but for all Canadians. <coughs> well, me being the first Canadian astronaut to have gone into space, I'm sure that this marked a beginning for Canadian contributions to NASA and other space programs. What I really think this means is that we will now begin to see much more future Canadians going into space just as I have. This is not only a stepping stone for me, but a stepping stone in Canadian history as well. I'm very sure that it is a stepping stone in Canadian history, but what I would really like to know is what the significance of this was, Mark. What I think the significance of my flight to space is, is that it now highlights Canada as a key player in the space scene, and now other countries can recognize Canada as a large future contributor. This flight, and the many others to, have to come help, will help enhance Canada's reputation and contribution on the world stage. Thank you, Mark. We now have a short video of showing us the liftoff of, of the space shuttle that Mark is on. I believe we now have some questions from the viewers. Yes, Mark. William from the Globe and Mail. What was the importance of you, a Canadian, going up into space, and what does this mean for the future? Yes, the importance of myself going up into space is that it marks the beginning of the Canadian Space Agency, and more importantly, for all Canadians. But what this means for the future is that more Canadians will continue to go up into space, and hopefully one day become the leader of the ISS. Hello, Dr. Garneau. Brian from the National Post. What can we expect in the future of Canadian space travel? Well, what I think is in store for the future is that a lot more Canadians will be present in the space expedition will be playing more important roles in NASA. Myself going into space was nothing but a launch pad for the future of Canadians in space, and I hope to see many more Canadians like myself going up in space in the near future. Uh, we have one final question for you, Mark. Yes, hello. Uh, it's Richard from the Toronto Star. So my question is, what do you think the long-term impacts of you going into space will be? Yes, one of the probable long-term impacts is that Canada will be recognized on the world stage of space travel as we are now. I also think that our allies will now recognize that Canada as a country is and will forever be a main and important contributor to the future of space travel. Well, I would like to extend my thanks to you, Mark, for joining us here today and talking to us about this rather significant event that will be recognized in Canadian history for a very long time. <coughs>